Introduction to Kilometer Part 1 Today we will learn what is a kilometer, where is a kilometer used and what is the relation between kilometer and meter. Ayushman, Ayushman. Yes, Papa. This time we are going to Nainital on a trip. Oh, really? Yes, see, this is the train ticket. Let me see. How far is it? It is approximately 300 kilometers from here. 300 meters? No, Ayushman, 300 kilometers. What does kilometer mean? In our class, they only taught us about meters. Just like meters, kilometers are also used to measure length. So, is kilometers like meters and centimeters is a unit to measure the length? Yes. But centimeters are used to measure objects of short length and meters to measure long lengths. Then why another unit? Because if we want to measure very long lengths, then it is not practical to use meter. Like what things? Like uh, the distance between two cities. I didn't understand. Okay, I'll explain. First, tell me how many centimeters are there in a meter? There are 100 centimeters in a meter. Similarly, there are 1000 meters in a kilometer. Then a thousand meters is a lot. Yes, much more than the meter. Our school sports competition had a thousand meters race. So the people who participated in it ran one kilometer? Yes. Then one kilometer is a lot. Because the people running in it were very tired. And Nainital is 300 kilometers away. As it is so far, we are going by train. If one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters, how many meters away is Nainital? It is very easy to calculate. Multiply it by 1000 to convert kilometer into meters. To convert 300 kilometers into meters, I have to multiply 300 by 1000. Yes, then how many meters is it? On multiplying 300 by 1000, the answer is 3 lakh meters. It means we will go 3 lakh meters away. <laughs> That's why we say it's 300 kilometers away. But how can I remember it that there are 1000 meters in a kilometer, Papa? For this, you just need to remember that kilo means 1000. Then kilometer will mean 1000 meters. Yes, now it will be easy to remember. But if we are given in meter, how will we convert it into kilometers? Very easy. To convert meters into kilometers, divide it by 1000. For example, if 1000 meters is to be converted into kilometers divided by 1000, the answer will be 1 kilometer. Got it! Now check on the internet what all is worth visiting in Nainital and start planning so we don't miss anything. Today we learned that the kilometer is a unit of length measurement. There are 1000 meters in a kilometer. The given value is multiplied by 1000 to convert kilometer into meters and the meter is divided by 1000 to convert to kilometers. Introduction to Kilometer Part 2 Today you will learn how distance can be written with two units and how can you add or subtract two lengths given in two units. I am going on a trip to Nainital. Really? And we are going to Jaipur. Nainital is 300 kilometers away from here. Is that so? And Jaipur is 280 kilometers away. I thought you would ask what a kilometer is. No, I know that. Kilometer is a unit of length measurement. Yesterday my papa told me. 
Papa told me yesterday too. If Nainital is 300 kilometers and Jaipur is 280 kilometers away, then the distance between Jaipur and Nainital is only 20 kilometers. That means we can also visit Jaipur while going to Nainital. Tell your papa that we can go to both the places as the distance between them is only 20 kilometers. Papa, this time we should go to visit Jaipur along with Nainital. No, the distance between the two is a lot. Let's go to Nainital and we will go to Jaipur some other time. No, papa, the distance between Nainital and Jaipur is not much, only 20 kilometers. No, Ayushman, there is a distance of 580 kilometers between the two. No, Riyanj and I have calculated. Nainital is 300 kilometers and Jaipur is 280 kilometers away. If we subtract both, then only 20 kilometers will be left. Yes, but when both are added, then it's 580 kilometers. Yes, but why add? Look, we are here. And if we go 300 kilometers towards right, we will come to Nainital. And if you go 280 kilometers left from here, we will come to Jaipur. Now tell me, how far is Jaipur from Nainital? The distance between the two is 580 kilometers. That's why we cannot go to Jaipur this time. We'll go later. Okay, Dad. I ask you another question related to distance. Sure. My office is 3 kilometers 400 meters away from here. What does it mean? I know that. We can also tell the length using two different units. And this means that your office is 3 kilometers and 400 meters away. You are right. Now tell me how far I have to go to the office and come back. You go 3 kilometers 400 meters to go to the office and then 3 kilometers 400 meters back. So we will add these two numbers. All right. Now add. But I cannot understand how they will be added. Look, we can add numbers only when their units are the same. So here we will add the value of meter to the meter and We will add the value of kilometers to kilometers. If you just add the value of the meter, the answer will be 800 meters. And adding the value of kilometers, the answer will be 6 kilometers. This means that you travel 6 kilometers 800 meters to go to and come back from the office. Ayushman, you're absolutely right. One more question. How much less have I traveled from 7 kilometers? If 6 kilometers, 800 meters is deducted from 7 kilometers, the answer to your question will be known? Absolutely right. Now subtract. If there is no meter written along with the 7 kilometer, then how can we deduct it? I cannot understand that. It's easy to do one thing. Convert both distances into meters. To convert 7 kilometers into meters, we will multiply 1000 into it. So here it is 7000 meters. Just like that, multiplying by 1000 in 6 kilometers, the answer will come 6000 meters. And adding 800 meters to it, the answer will be 6800 meters. Absolutely right. Now they can be subtracted because the units of both are the same. The answer after subtracting them is 200 meters. That is, you have to cover a distance of 200 meters more to walk 7 kilometers a day. Well done, Ayushman. Today you learned that distance or length can also be written in two units. Example, 3 kilometers, 400 meters. Values of two lengths can be added or subtracted only when they are written in a single unit. Introduction to Kilometer Part 3 Today you will learn about how lengths are added and how to use multiple units 
to show the same length. What are you doing, Papa? I am writing the length of the wall of my factory. But why? Because we have to get the wired boundary to protect the building. But how long is the boundary of your factory? Come, help me find it out. Look, on this paper, I have drawn the boundary of all sides of the factory and written its length. Now, can you help me add it? Okay, the boundary of your office is a square and the length is the same on all sides. That is 352 meters and 63 centimeters. So, to get the boundary's length, we will multiply it by 4. Very good. See what comes after multiplying? 63 multiplied by 4 will give 252 centimeters. All right. And multiplying 4 into 352 meters will be 1408 meters. This means that the boundary of your office is 1408 meters and 252 centimeters. According to calculations, what you have said is correct, Ayushman. But it can be written in a better manner. How? Look, at the values in meters, you have written 1408 meters. But because it is more than a thousand meters, it can also be written in kilometers. Oh yes, I did not think this. I'll do it now. To convert 1408 meters into kilometers, it will be divided by 1000. Yes, so what is the answer? The answer is 1 kilometer 408 meters. But Ayushman, the value in centimeter is also more than a hundred. Don't you think it can be written in meters too? Oh yes, it can be written. Then what are you thinking? Write it down. To convert the value in centimeters to meters, one has to divide it by 100. And 252 divided by 100 will be 2 meters 52 centimeters. Absolutely correct. Now tell me, how much is the total length? Total length would be 1 kilometer 408 meters and 2 meters 52 centimeters. But when there are two values in the meter, they can be added. Yes, then it would be better. This means the total length of your factory boundary would be 1 kilometer 410 meters and 52 centimeters. Yes, Ayushman. Now completely correct. There is just a little change. Why have you written and in it? It's not needed. Just remove it. But on removing it, three units will be used in telling the same length, right? So what? Three or more units can also be used to write down and mention the length. This would be the correct way of writing it. 1 kilometer, 410 meters, 52 centimeters, which means 1 kilometer and 400 and 10 meters and 52 centimeters. Now I understand completely. You learn today about how lengths are added. And several units can be used to show the same length.